here today. I've got the um, Ticker T1 X. I've got an Anschutz uh, 1671. This is the HDB, uh, the Sporter sort of style. And then this is another Anschutz 1761. This is the thumb hole. They're all 17 HMR. I've just been zeroing them all. Well, these two are already zeroed. That one's the new one today. And I'm just doing a little bit of chronograph testing. This one's been well shot. That one's now had about 150 rounds to it. Good clean. I'm interested today just to see how the barrel velocity is stabilizing, accuracy stabilizing. This is long proven. And that's the new kit. Um, thumb holes are always a bit different for handling. And it's just interesting to see how they vary to these two. This is obviously the uh, the ultra compact, lightweight. Frankly, gone at about half the price because these are both just. This is 1180. That's a few pounds more, I think, nearing off 1200 pounds. So uh, this is the 20 grand XTP that this gun's actually zeroed with. So, swapping through now, let's go on the 17 grain VMAX. This is not zeroed on this rifle, but it's within, uh, within two or three centimetres on target. Velocity difference obviously changes slightly mid and longer range trajectories. Change the uh, string on the chronograph. counted that one is a dead man's clip so I am going to count 30 seconds on that one for as near as damn it 17 HMR ammunitions improved massively over the last two years but there were a few problems in the past it serves with any cartridge any caliber any rifle always to count I think there must be about 30 now so we're gonna get a safe reloading drills on the front That has actually struck the cartridge, but it's a no fire. I'm not going to disturb the string anymore, I'll come back to that in a moment. And that's the good one's click on you. So, I'll change the rotation of this one. And I'll give it one more go, just because I don't like to uh, dismantle or discard a used cartridge. And a second, the second firing has actually made it go. You won't be able to see on the camera, but there are two distinct firing pin impressions on here. Shooting three rifles in, in, in less than 30 minutes gives a really uh, quick demonstration of how they'll handle slightly different, different bolt operation, manipula manipulation. Are the magazines slight differences between those? I've been used to re clipping out the hand shuts with a thumb in the front of the trigger guard here. And uh, this one, uh, the, the 
ticker has a, has a button in front of the trigger guard. So you're swapping backwards and forwards all the time. In terms of bolt manipulation, they're all very similar. But I have to say, I think, I'll measure these later, I think the ticker's got the shortest bolt throw and the shortest lift angle as well. Because the handle is certainly a little bit more dinky. You can see there's a, an extra rubber bolt knob being put on here as well over the standard one. This rifle has become the benchmark by which I judge all others. I'm not personally a huge 17 HMR fan for well recognised ammunition caveats. Um, but yeah, this is the benchmark. These retail at about £575. They are a hell of a lot of gun for the money, whether you go for the 2 2 or the 17. So I, uh, I make no apologies really for comparing other rifle alongside it. This is short 16 inch barrel, these are about 80 inch barrels. They've both got sack moderators on. This one's actually got a larger tier one monolith moderator on it. it. It is a little bit quieter, so disregard slightly the, um, the volume levels that you may have heard on the video. Let's move on and do a little bit more.